We are going to introduce some basic notation here for the normal distribution. The first is this cursive n character. It says the variable x comes from the normal distribution with mean of mu and variance of sigma squared. Notice the second term is variance, not standard deviation. If I wanted to say the height of people in Australia is normally distributed with a mean of 180 centimeters and a variance of 36 centimeters squared, in other words, a standard deviation of 6 centimeters, I would write it this way, mathematically. The next idea is to take the normal distribution and integrate it to get the probability distribution that we saw before. As we integrate from left to right, the total area tends to one unit. Most times we will stop before this. We will find the cumulative integral from minus infinity up to a particular value of z. For example, what is the cumulative area up to a value of z equals zero? It is 50% because we stopped halfway and we know the distribution is symmetric. Now people have calculated the integral for us and presented them as tables. This is useful when we don't have a computer or when we need it in a test and on an exam. What is the area from minus infinity to z equals 2? That's right, you can read it from the table. It is 97.7%. You can also use the p-norm function in R by saying p-norm in brackets 2 and you get the same answer. We can do this backwards as well for the case when you know the probability or area but want to find the corresponding z-value. Use the q-norm function in R or use the inverse tables. Let's try it out. What is the value of z when you have an area of 50%? Both from the table or by typing q-norm 0.5 in R, you will get a result of z as 0. Here's another one. What is the value of z when you have an area of 2.5% under the left tail? 2.5% is a very small probability, so we expect a negative value of z. In fact, from the table we see it is z equals minus 1.96, and r also confirms this for us. Notice that you cannot find the z value when the area under the curve is exactly 0 or exactly 1. It is undefined for those two cases. Let's go in the forwards direction again, but change the question slightly. What is the area under the curve between z equals minus 1 and z equals plus 1? That's right, we have to subtract the areas. The cumulative area up to minus 1 is 15.87%, and the cumulative area up to plus 1 is 84.13%. So there's a small overlapping piece, and the area then between minus 1 and plus 1 should subtract these two numbers to avoid double counting. That gives an area of 84.13 minus 15.87, or 68.3%. That's about 70%, which was the rough number I had given you earlier as the area between minus 1 and plus 1 standard deviation. Let's have two more examples. What is the probability of observing a biological activity from a process when the biological activity values are normally distributed with a mean of about 27 and a variance of about 9 units squared? You should be able to do this without a calculator. First, let's standardize. We want a probability of x less than or equal to 30. In standard variables, we have to say 30 minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. That's 30 minus 27 divided by the square root of 9. Our question then becomes, what is the probability of a z value smaller than or equal to 1? That's easy. It's about 84%, and that's the answer to the question. Here's another one to try without a calculator. Historically, we've observed the yield values from our batch process to be 85 grams per litre, with a variance of 16 units squared. What is the probability of yield values between 77 and 93 grams per litre? You should have found the standardized z values for 77 and 93 respectively, 
relative to a mean of 85 grams per liter and a variance of 16 units squared. These Z values are minus 2 and plus 2 respectively. The area from minus infinity to plus 2 is 97.73. But we have to subtract the small area at the start, the cumulative area up to minus 2. So that's 97.73 minus 2.27 in other words, an area of 95.46%. So that's our answer. There's a probability of around 95% of observing yield values between 77 and 93 grams per liter. You should make sure you can follow those calculations. They'll get quicker and quicker as you become more comfortable.